Okay, so uh, here we are a few days after the election. Uh, I wish I had a victory dance for you, but I don't. But what I do have is a smile on my face, uh, and I'm glad to be talking to you this morning. Uh, I'm glad because we ran a great campaign. Um, we, we had a ton of support from cross-party, uh, from independents, from Democrats, uh, from groups in the state of Florida. And I'm glad that we did not run the negative campaign. I'm glad that everything we did was positive about the issues, about my background and my experience. I didn't do any gray faces, and I didn't run over almost $500,000 worth of negative attack pieces. What I did do is stay true to my word, that I would not run a negative campaign, and I would talk about the issues. I'm also glad to know that there were so many people that believed in our message. 41% of the vote, larger than the Democrats have done in this area, maybe ever, sure for a long time. Um, very proud of that. I'm also proud of my family for standing by me every single day in what oftentimes was not a fun time to be here. Uh, we had a great time. We had a bad time. You know, those peaks and valleys of a campaign are very challenging. So, Rachel, I love you, baby. Um, um, Sterling and, and Hannah and Jackson, my children, they stood there too. I love all of y'all, and thank you so much for being by my side. I want to thank the teachers for being there and the firefighters and every supporter that either picked up a phone, knocked on the door, sent out a mail piece uh, with, with a stamp on it, made a phone call, made a contribution. Y'all made this happen. This is, this is a great thing that we did, and I please want you uh, to, to remember that and hold your head high the same way I am. I am not ashamed, and I, and I am not bitter. I'm a little disappointed, and I'm a little frustrated. But I'm disappointed uh, not at what we did but at the outcome. And, and, and I'll get past that. It'll be fine. Where I am now is I'm worried. I'm worried about where our state's going. And I would be worried no matter what party's in control. So I am going to stay active. And I want you to stay active with me. There were very, very direct messages sent out by Rep now Representative Matt Caldwell. And I congratulate you on a race. And I congratulate you as being our next state representative. But I'm going to challenge you now. And I want our community to do this. And this is a good challenge. Deliver what you said. Deliver the light, light rail. Deliver the jobs. Deliver the lower taxes. Deliver to the teachers when you said you thought Senate Bill 6 was bad. And don't go up there and veto some sort of Senate Bill 6 initiative that I know is being talked about. Stand up for Southwest Florida and not party politics. I challenge you this not, not to create an issue, but to let you know that our community is in a dire need to get some things done for everyone who lives here. I hope our community does this. We are at a very pivotal point in our state, and we have to start being active. There are a lot of people that are active in this campaign. Don't go away. Stay with us. Stay active. Get to know Representative Caldwell. Make sure that he comes and finds a way to support the Red Cross, the United Way, the Pace Center for Girls, funding mechanisms that are going to make our community stronger than it is right now. I'm at that point where... Uh, I need to be going, but I want to leave you with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. I want to thank all the people that made me smile and get up and fight every single day for this race. The staff that was here, Mo and Dan and, and Sharon, and everyone who were a part of this really, really good thing, it was a fun time. I'm glad I did it. I'm, I'm in front of you right now because I'm not ashamed, but I'm very proud and happy. So thank you all for everything. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for everything you did. I look forward to shaking all your hands real soon. Thank you.